again, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'll be teaching you guys another song to play on the ukulele but before anything else, shout out muna tayo, isang malaking shout out kay Marie Claire Maen or Maine, kay Kenshin Go, Shaina Arellano, Nina Jane Mercader, Sofia Claire, Carl Simon Enriquez, Alexandra Nolasco, Rowenny Pagayon, Noreen Lucero, and lastly, shout out kay Zandra Almira. So thank you po sa inyong lahat, and if you want to be mentioned on my next tutorial, so just drop your names on the comment section below. So without further much ado, grab your ukulele because today I'm gonna teach you how to play Malibu Nights by Lan. So bago tayo magsa-start, make sure that your ukulele is in the standard tuning, and the standard tuning for soprano and concert ukuleles is G, C, E. So if you're done tuning your ukulele, then let's move on to the chords of the song. So basically, the song has four easy chords. The first chord is an E minor. Ayan. Index, middle, fourth. Para siyang hagdanan. Ganan. Tapos, the next chord is D. So itong tatlo. One, two, three. Ayan. Tapos, the next chord is the chord of G. Ayan. Para siyang V yung itsura niya. So index, middle, and yung fourth finger, dapat nasa gitna ng dalawang fingers na to. Ayan. Tapos, the next chord is the chord of C, so you just have to put your index or your middle finger here on the first and third fret. So, the next thing that I'll be teaching you guys today is the intro part, and it should sound like this. Then, yung first chord natin dyan is an E minor and then you just have to strum it using your thumb or your index finger just like this. Ayan, yung, yung, yung kuko ng index finger. Or pwede din ito na lang. Ayan. Tapos, lipat ka sa D after the E minor. Ayan. Just strum once per chord. Tapos, lipat sa G. And then, balik ka naman sa D. Pero pag balik mo dito sa pangalawang D, you just have to strum the 4, 4, 3, and 2 na strings. Ayan. Hindi to kasali. Okay? So, E minor, D, G, balik sa D, pero tatlong strings lang. Tapos, after that one, open strings. So, wala kang gagawin dito. Tapos, you have to strum three and two na strings. Ganto. Dapat sabay siya. Ganon. So, E minor, D, G, D, open. Tapos, just do it twice. So after the intro is of course the verses of the song and yung sa verses yung ituturo ko sa inyo ay para siyang plucking na broken chords na style. So napaka-easy lang ng pattern natin and yung chord progression natin for the verses of the song is an E minor, D, and then dalawang C. Ayan. So ito mo ko muna yung plucking and then let's break down the things that you should learn after. Okay. So, yung plucking pattern natin for the verses of the song is 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 2, 4, 1, 2. Okay. So, let's take a closer look with this uh, pattern. So, yung 4, yung number 4 na string, 4th string, is the one that is facing your face. Always remember that one. And then, the 1st string is the one that is facing the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? So, 4, 3, 2, So, position, first chord natin as in E minor. Yan. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 2, 4, 1, 2, 1. Tapos lipat. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 2, 4, 1, 2, C. Tapos ulitin mo naman kasi dalawang C. Balik ka naman sa E minor. D. So, 
let's try to sing the first verse using the plucking pattern. One, two, three, go. There's no reason, there's no right. I found myself inside the fight. Feeling that I never know. Dealing with it on my own. Phone is why it was a bear. I drink myself to sleep, kiss. No one even has to know. I'm dealing with it on my own. And then after that one, you have to repeat the intro slash instrumental na part. So may ingat siya. Again. So after the instrumental is the chorus, and this is the part where the strumming begins. So the chord progression natin sa chorus is the same: E minor, D, C, and C. Ayan. Tapos yung strumming pattern natin ay super common lang. It is a down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. So always remember. So, slowly lang muna tayo. Yung down strums natin, yung ginagamit ko lang ay yung kuko ng index finger. And then, for the up strums, I'm just using your thumbnail. Ayan. So, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then, lipat. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then, for the chord of C, the same thing. using this strumming pattern and the chord progression. One, two, three, go. I've got way too much down to be the same. Somebody help, it's getting worse. What do you do with a broken heart? Once in love fades, everything dark. Way too much whiskey in my blood. I feel my blood to give it up. Can I hold on for another? Instrumental ulit. So after the instrumental is the second verse of the song. So kung ano yung ginawa natin kanina sa verse 1, yun din yung apply natin sa verse 2. And then after the verse 2 is another chorus. The same thing. And then after the chorus is the refrain. So dito na tayo sa refrain. So yung chord progression natin sa refrain is still the same with the chorus. E minor, D, C, C. Ayan. Tapos yung strumming pattern natin is still the same. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down. Okay? So let's try to sing the refrain. I drive circles in the streetlights and nothing seems to Tapos, after the refrain is balikan na naman sa chorus. And then, after the third chorus, we have another refrain. The same thing. And then, we have the outro. So, yung outro, the same with the instrumental. Still, E minor, D, G, D. Tapos, open. Ganun. Tapos, kung feeling nyo mababa or mataas yung pitch para sa inyo, you can always use a capo. And then, kung iipit mo naman yung kapo mo sa kahit anong fret, depende sa preference nyo kung saan nyo parang kaya kantahin yung kanta, yung pitch niya. So, yung, mga, yung position ng chords is still the same. So, yung C, still on the third fret, first string, kahit andito pa siya sa fourth string. Ayan, dito pa rin yung C, guys. Third fret, first string. Same pa rin yung position niya. Walang nagbabago. Yung nagbago lang ay yung pitch niya. Okay? Kasi marami kasi nagtatanong, para saan yung kapo? Kung walang kapo, pwede ba? Ganon, ganon, ganon. So, basically, the purpose of kapo is just to transpose the song in a different key so that you can sing the song in a different key. <laughs> and by the way, guys, if you want to achieve the original pitch of the song, yung salani talaga, 
Um, you should click your gapo here on the fourth fret. Ayan. So fourth fret ka magipit guys. So pakinggan natin. Dun, 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 dun. Ayan. So same pa rin yung gagawin natin. na bahala kung saan mo gustong magipit. Ayan. So, before I will end this video, make sure that you check out the lyrics and the chords and mga information dun sa description box below. So, kung, kung ano yung mga sinabi ko kanina, andun lahat sa description box below. Hey guys! So, thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you're interested to watch my latest ukulele cover or tutorials, you may click the video right here. And if you're interested to watch my latest vlogs, you may click the video right there. And I'll see you guys on my next video and make sure to subscribe.